Hi guys, Ashley here from Ashley Morganic, and today we are in my kitchen. Now this is where I spend probably 90% of my time because I love to cook and I'm just always cooking and because I don't have a dishwasher so I'm always washing dishes too. <laughs> but today we are doing a recipe for vegan lasagna. Now this lasagna is vegan, gluten free, and use as much organic produce as you possibly can. It's made from a homemade tomato sauce, which is actually my mom's recipe. I grew up in a very Italian household, and my mom's sauce has always been my favorite, and I feel like it's a secret ingredient to any amazing Italian recipe. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make that, and then we're going to do a homemade ricotta cheese as well, which is made from cashews. So we have some cashews soaking up right here. Um, and then we're just gonna fill it with veggies, so no like meat substitutes or anything like that. The, the veggies make it really hearty and delicious. You guys are gonna be my sous chefs today, so let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna chop up one onion. You can do half an onion, I guess, if you're not crazy about onions, but you want it to be in there for sure to give it some flavor. So I'm gonna do a whole onion. So the tomatoes that I like to use are these by Jovial, they're organic, or you can get these, um, which come in a can, just up to your own preference. But I like to go for the jars if I can, because then I can reuse them. So now we're just chopping up some fresh herbs to add into the sauce before we simmer it. So I had some fresh oregano, which you can totally use dry if you don't have fresh, but the parsley should be fresh. And we're gonna add in a little basil as well. So now the secret ingredient to a really good sauce is actually sugar. So I'm gonna take a teaspoon of some coconut sugar and just drop that in. And what that does is that it cuts the acidity from the tomatoes. And I just wanna stir that all up and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Now you can probably get away with doing it a little bit less um, since of course we don't have meat in here that needs to cook thoroughly. Um, but you still want all the flavors to incorporate. You can put in whatever veggies you want, of course, but what I always like to do is some red bell pepper, sliced black olives, cremini mushrooms, zucchini, and yellow squash. So we're basically gonna season every stage or every component of this lasagna. So you start with the onion and garlic in the sauce, you start with the onion and garlic in the sauteed veggies, and then we're also gonna do onion and garlic in the homemade ricotta cheese so that the end product is really, really flavorful and well seasoned. So in addition to the homemade ricotta cheese that we're gonna make, you also need some type of mozzarella cheese. So my favorite, not sponsored whatsoever, I just literally have probably three of these on hand in my fridge at all times because it's that good. It's the Miyoko's Vegan Mats, and it's actually made from cashews. The ingredients are really simple and to the point. You're not gonna find like a whole crazy list of ingredients like the normal vegan cheeses or any cheese for that matter. So yeah, it's actually made from organic cashews and organic coconut oil, and it is delish. So we are going to shred it up and you'll see that it actually shreds up just like regular mozzarella cheese. This cheese is also wonderful by the spoonful by itself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, although it is, but it's great in a caprese salad. So like a vegan caprese salad with just some cut up heirloom tomatoes and this sliced up with some balsamic on top and basil. Mmm, really good. 
Okay, so now for the cashew ricotta cheese, we're gonna start with two cups of soaked cashews, drained. Then we're gonna do the juice of one full lemon. Then I'm going to add in some onion, just half an onion that I had sauteing. So put the sauteed onion in there. Lots of salt. Some pepper. And then of course, a vegan's favorite ingredient, nooch, AKA nutritional yeast. And then lots of basil, which I'm just gonna snip into here with my little herb scissors. Um, and we're probably gonna need a little water as well. And then once you blend it all up, you get this really nice, creamy, delicious homemade ricotta cheese. Okay, so for the lasagna noodles, I mentioned they are vegan and gluten-free, and they're no boil, which is such a time saver, so you don't have to worry about boiling them first and then trying to transfer them without them breaking. It's just such a mess. I hate boiling lasagna noodles. So the fact that I found these and that they're actually good and that you can't even tell that they're gluten-free, big thumbs up. So these are by Explore Cuisine. Um, I got them at Whole Foods. I think they're also on Thrive Market. So we're just going to layer up the lasagna now. So first down is always sauce. You always want to start with a nice little layer of sauce so that the lasagna noodles on the bottom are able to cook. Okay, next we're gonna take the sheets of lasagna noodles and you basically just put them down right in there. Now on top of the lasagna noodles, we'll do some of the cashew ricotta cheese. Now for our veggie filling. Do a layer of that. Now we'll do a little bit of the shredded miyokos. Some more sauce, and then you just keep repeating those steps. So it's sauce, lasagna noodles, regatta cheese, veggies, mozzarella cheese, repeat. Now for the last layer, you just do lasagna noodles and cheese. So you end with the cheese on top so that it can get nice and bubbly and a little browned and really good. And I always just finish with a little bit of salt and pepper on top. Again, just to make sure it's really well seasoned. And now for Parmesan to just sprinkle all over the top. I love this one by Vito Life. It's really good. You'll see it grates on top, just like how real Parmesan does. No one will ever know the difference. And it's nice and salty and delicious. All right, now it is ready for the oven. So now you're going to put the whole dish into a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Keep your eye on it though. You really just want to start seeing the soft bubbling. really hot. I don't know if I can eat it right now. <laughs> Definitely hot, but it is so good. The lasagna noodles are actually like perfectly al dente and everything is just so good. Oh my god. If you don't have access to the Miyoko's vegan mozz, I've also made it with the follow your heart mozzarella too and that one comes out really good. Um, not a big fan of the Daya, but I know that that is the most accessible cheese out there. So if that's all you can find, totally do it. But this combination right here, amazing. 
you guys will not be disappointed. Behind the scenes of fashion overnights, lasagna video. <laughs> Filming attire. <laughs> Reformation top. <laughs> Reformation bottoms and slip flops. And slip flops that are from for free from the nail place. <laughs> the nail place? Yeah, like when you forget to wear, you know, oh, like, they, you just wear shoes. Oh, well, at least they give you a legit flip flops. I know, that's why a few times, like I now have like three pairs. They're just my <laughs> they're just my indoor flip flops now. Oh. They're my house flip flops. Wait, you've never had it? No. Stop. Okay, wait, I need to make you a little, a little, because I do the cheese with the sauce and some salt and pepper on top. Mm, mm, this is mm, so mm, good. Yes, now we're ready to assemble. Assemble! Assemble! All the ingredients, assemble! <laughs> Maybe I'll put it in a little pot. <laughs> Should I start twerking? Oh my god, my belt is like wrong. Yeah. It was coming off your belt? It was like looped through one of the holes. Stupid. Okay. Oh my god, I have cheese under my nails. <laughs> Here you go. Are they my teeth? Yes. Yeah. They're great. Eat them. They're great. You'll love them. Forever. Just, just hold it. 